Big news out of the NFL, a bombshell, dare I say. Martavis Bryant, Steelers wide receiver, suspended for the entire 2016 season of violating the NFL substance abuse policy. Big, big news that really sends ripples through the AFC North. Chris Wesson, get us going. How much does this hurt the Steelers? They're still going to have one of the best offenses in the NFL, but this was the most loaded offense with Martavis Bryant. He and Antonio Brown are the best wide receiver duo in the NFL. You could argue two of the most talented wide receivers in the league. And with Martavis Bryant on the field, they've averaged 29 points versus 22 without him. That is a major difference. They have offensive line questions, but this is – really just changing them from maybe a team that could set records or be way ahead of the pack to still one of the best groups. I mean, think about the receivers they have. Antonio Brown, Marcus Wheaton, you have Sammy Coates step up, you have Ladarius Green now. That's still a... Darius Hayward Bay. That's still a better group than almost every team in the league. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to cover up what Brian did. It's 17 touchdowns over two years. And when he's on the field, he was just really one of the freakiest athletes out there half the time. But I look at what happened last year. They lost Antonio Brown for a chunk of the season, lost Big Ben for a big part of the year. No team in the AFC really feels more resilient to me outside of New England than Pittsburgh. No matter what happens, they find a way to get over it and get to the postseason. I think they'll be okay. They lost the NFL's best running back and overcame that too. Yeah. A lot of pressure, though, on a Sammy Coates, on a Marcus Wheaton, on a Ladarius Green, a, a guy that we all love in this room, but you're asking them to become uh, big-time producers. I mean, it, it, it kill, I mean, that's a top-10 receiver potentially out the door. Does this hurt their Super Bowl hopes in a way, in a serious way, or is he that big a piece? I think it absolutely hurts their Super Bowl hopes. You're talking about, in my opinion, one of the top-10 receivers in the NFL. I think their defense was getting better at the end of last season. That's sort of their hope that they'll be more of a balanced team, that they'll still be a good enough offense it's it stinks for football fans I mean this is a guy who caught a touchdown through his legs while doing a somersault that said I was AFC not impressed is, by that AFC is totally cool. wide open and you find this out now versus other teams that lost a wide receiver for uh, weed for the day in the middle of the draft you find out what time to prepare and draft someone else did you just spin this back to the Browns well yeah Josh Gordon, that was a whole ridiculous thing. This you get, you got time to prepare, Pittsburgh. Wow. You'll be fine. Last time we saw Martavis Bryant, he put 194 yards on the Denver Broncos, the Ooh. best defense in the NFL. Hey. So wow. I call him the alien. Well, we'll leave you with that. Check out the Around the NFL podcast three times a week.